there's thousands of people in the mall right now buying candles and Christmas presents for their friends and neighbors and family. And God bless them. They should. It's a, it's a great holiday. It's a blessing. All, right? All we want to do is serve a cheeseburger and a beer in this restaurant. And 20 unmarked cars took him away for that reason. Walmart just announced they're paying $700 million in bonuses. And Staten Island restaurant owners are getting arrested two times in a week for trying to make 100 bucks. The ignorance is so high that on national television, they find it funny that small business owners are trying to feed their families while the millionaires sit in their perch. I take it that you found these protests frustrating. Yeah, man, they're making us look like babies. You know, you know it's bad when even people in Boston are like, ah, drink at home, you queers. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think that people should stay at home until the pandemic gets better? Yeah, everyone wants to go have fun, but there's plenty of stuff you could do at home. My response to that is very simple. If you can go a block and a half and get a cheeseburger, which you can, Okay, if anybody can show me science that the COVID virus stops at the railroad tracks, we'd be more than happy to shut down. The first guy to stand up to the tyrants gets crushed. De Blasio and now Cuomo have told the people of Staten Island, New York City, and the country that if you speak up to the emperor, you get crushed. But as the owner and just a family man following the stream, this governor and mayor are not going to take my best friend and my pub. Out of respect to law and order, we will take the next few days to regroup, but I can assure the fight to reopen Max Public House and for the rest of small business owners will continue. The dream lives on. And I, I'm going to address uh, Saturday Night Live just a little bit. I just want everybody to know we had 2,000 people here in a peaceful, respectful rally. They actually cleaned up when they left. We had 50 to 100 people cleaning up the street when we left. Maybe Saturday Night Live should be mocking the people that rooted, that looted and rioted and destroyed our great city of Manhattan and the rest of the great cities in this country. Anybody else?